Welcome to the spoken tutorial on linking in Calc in LibreOffice Calc. In this tutorial, we will learn the following. How to reference other sheets in Calc. How to use hyperlinks in Calc. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. LibreOffice Calc allows you to reference a cell from another sheet to a cell in the current sheet, a cell from another spreadsheet, if you have saved both the spreadsheets. Let's open personalfinancetracker.ods. The sheet 1 of our file contains the spreadsheet for Personal Finance Tracker. I have added some amounts in the columns spent and received. Now let us find the sum total of the components under cost and spent respectively. Click on the cell referenced as C9 and enter the formula is equal to sum and within braces C3 colon C7. Then Press the Enter key. Click on the cell referenced as D9 and using the same formula, find the total. Now, we will display the total balance under cost and spent on a different sheet using cell referencing. Let's click on the Sheet 2 tab. This opens the new sheet. Now, Click on the cell referenced as A1 and type the heading Component inside it. Click on the cell referenced as B1 and type the heading Balance inside it. Now let's enter the names of the components under the heading. Click on the cell referenced as A3 and type Costs. Press Enter. Below Costs, Let's enter the next component as spent in the cell referenced A4. Now click on the empty cell B3. The cells B3 and B4 will have the total balance under the heading cost and spent, which we calculated in sheet 1. This will be done by referencing. To make the cell reference in cell B3, Click on the equal to sign next to the input line. Now, on the Sheet tab, click on the Sheet 1. In this sheet, we will click on the cell C9, which contains the total under the column Costs. Notice that in the input line, the statement Sheet1.C9 is displayed. Now, Click on the check mark next to the input line. Notice that the grand total of the data under costs in the Sheet 1 tab is automatically entered into the cell referenced as B3 in the Sheet 2 tab. Similarly, we can enter the grand totals of other components through referencing. Referencing can be very useful to summarize data if there are many sheets with a lot of data content. Now, let's learn how to create hyperlinks in Calc Sheets. You can use hyperlinks to jump to a different location within a spreadsheet, to different files, or even to websites. In the Personal Finance Tracker .ods, the Personal Finance Tracker is in Sheet 1, and the rest of the content is in Sheet 2. Let's say we want to jump from Sheet 1 to Sheet 2. First, click on the Sheet 1 tab. Here, let's click on the cell referenced as B14 and enter Sheet 2. You see that the name Sheet 2 is displayed on the input line. Now, select the text Sheet 2 in the input line. After selecting the text, click on the hyperlink icon in the toolbar. The hyperlink dialog box appears. On the left side, let's select the document option. 
click on the Target in Document icon in the dialog box. A new Target in Document dialog box appears. Now, click on the plus sign next to the Sheet option. In the dialog box which appears, click on the Sheet 2 option. Now, click on the Apply button and then click on the Close button. Now, from the hyperlink dialog box, click on Apply and then click on Close. The Sheet 1 tab appears in front with the text Sheet 2 highlighted in the cell. Now, when we click on the text Sheet 2, it directly takes us to the sheet where we had entered the balance for costs. We have created a hyperlink. To remove the hyperlink, first select the hyperlink text Sheet 2. Now, right-click and from the context menu, click on the default formatting option. The text is no longer hyperlinked. It is just like a normal text in the document. Let us undo the changes. This brings us to the end of the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Calc. To summarize, we learned how to reference to other sheets in Calc, use hyperlinks in Calc. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-NHRT, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Cruise Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.